Hello, my name is Beth Ann Kennedy and I'm a professional psychic medium and crystal healer and this is Wigus and we are here to talk to you today about keeping your stones clean. Uh, as a professional it is one of the questions I'm asked the most and it's super important to keep your stones clean because they are like sponges. They absorb negativity and sometimes pretty quickly and any sort of toxicity that you're trying to release off of your system your stones are doing it for you and so if you want to keep your stones super energized and working optimally for a long time, you need to keep them super clean. Uh, it is one of the experiences that people have. If they don't keep their stones clean, the crystals sometimes lose color or they break or they feel like they're not working anymore or you lose a connection with them. So I'm going to talk to you today about some super easy tools that you can use to clean your stones almost every day and uh, keep them working for years to come. One of my favorite methods as a crystal healer to clear my crystals is to use a cleansing smoke. It's often referred to as smudging. There are uh, several different types of plants, trees, or uh, resin incenses that you can use this with. Uh, one of the most common ones is white sage. I recommend an ethically harvested one. You can also use a mugwort as well. Woods are very important. Resin uh, woods such as a palo cento. You can also burn resin incenses like a frankincense or a dragon's blood as well. Those will help clear out your crystals. If you are allergic to smoke or you don't like the scent or you live somewhere where you can't burn things that have a very strong scent, I recommend finding uh, some sort of cleansing mist. A lot of people sell them on the internet. There are smudge in a bottle. Uh, you can use the rose water that's available at the store. Um, you can make your own. You can do some research and make your own. You can use these to gently mist around your crystals and it will help a lot. Another one that I really, really love to use is uh, some sort of salt. Getting a bowl of uh, sea salt, even like a kosher salt, would work great. You can put your crystals just on top of the salt. Uh, you can do that overnight and when you wake up in the morning it will have completely cleared out your crystals. Um, the wonderful thing about salt is it sort of ionizes the negativity, it neutralizes it. You don't have to change out the salt or clear the salt itself. You can keep using it for years to come. Uh, that's why uh, salt lamps and everything are so effective around the house is they're just neutralizing all the negativity and it works the same for your crystals. Another thing that you can use as well if you don't have access to salt is you can use a bowl of brown rice. That's a great substitute. Another great way to clear your stones is to beam energy. You can use a Reiki energy or you can see yourself just pinching the stones with white light to clear them out. Um, using the image of your mind, you can also blow on the stone and uh, see yourself blowing the negativity into a bucket or receptacle of white light or having the negative energy just turn into white light is another great way to use it. If you want, you can actually use a crystal point and send energy into the stone through a crystal point if that makes it easier, like a quartz point. Um, some people actually place their stones or their jewelry on a quartz cluster to clear it out overnight as well. Some people like to clear their stones under water, um, like run it under a tap water. It can be good for the stone, but there are a couple of cautions I have with that one. One, if the, uh, you need to know what the mineral is, I don't always recommend submerging crystals in water. If you have simple tumbled stones, I don't think it will hurt, but when you start to get into more complex mineral specimens, I do not recommend that one as much. Uh, another one is to put your stones outside, um, either charge them in the sunlight or the moonlight. Um, this as well can be uh, difficult, you know, inserting different minerals into different elements. Uh, you don't necessarily want things to get rained on and some stones color will fade in the sunlight. So if you are going to put your stones outside, I recommend knowing uh, what their properties are and if they are sensitive to the sun. Uh, so just use that with caution. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for tuning in and thank you Wiggis for being with us the whole time. You can follow me and Wiggis here on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest under pinkhearthealing.com. We're going to have more of these videos coming up on my YouTube channel and you can also check me out on my website for more information about me and the work that we do at pinkhearthealing.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.